so the way really that how it got started was my grandfather was um, operating a dealership up in Cleveland and he got the opportunity from General Motors to come down here and own his own dealership. He had called up my dad at that point in time and said, hey, would you like to come down uh, and help me start this dealership? And then, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. And that point was in Centerville up on Loop Road. And, um, you know, really that's how it got started. It was, it was one of those right place at the right time things, um, the right opportunity, and they took it in 1984. Um, Dad got the opportunity to purchase uh, the Cadillac dealership from Mr. Simon. You know, he was in that, uh, I think, that part of his career where he, he saw opportunities. He saw the opportunity to, to grow larger than just a single point. Um, and, and so Dad was really kind of at the forefront of what you see today with large auto groups uh, throughout the country. That never existed before, you know, really before that period of time. And that was really uh, where we started growing. I, I think that period of time was there, there, um, there was the right opportunities um, coupled with dad's desire to grow. I think there's a lot of things that sets Voss apart. The most important part of that is our people. When, when you look around our network, um, we, we're over 500 people right now. Uh, the average tenure with us is, is over 20 years. We have a gentleman that, that, that works for us at the Chevy store uh, that started there before I was born. That just speaks to the longevity uh, uh, of, our, of our employees. It's been fun for me personally to, to grow up around that. I grew up in the business, I grew up around cars. It's something that I love. Um, it's something that I continue to love every day. It you know, keeps me excited, keeps me coming in here. I'd say the, the greatest uh, part about our body shop is it was started by one of our parts counter men, uh, Jack Leet, who had an idea and he ran with it. And way back in the 70s, my dad gave him that leeway to, to, you know, to do that. And he ended up turning it into what it is today, which is one of the largest body shops in the country. Oh, we have three collision centers. Uh, we have one at um, our store in Monroe. We have one on Loop Road and we have one here on 725. And they're fully operational, full repairs, you know, everything. So that's, that's nice to have as, at the dealership. I, I would say probably 40, maybe 30 to 40% of dealerships nationwide actually have a body shop um, in their facilities. So it is nice. We get a lot of extra work. We get to see and meet a lot of different people with that who may have not come to our stores. And then they, they, they you know, unfortunately get into an accident. They end up coming to our dealerships. They see the level of service we provide. And then maybe they say, hey, you know what? I actually want to buy my car here. I think one of the things that separates us is, you know, Dayton's a small community. Washington Township's a small community. And everybody knows each other. And in bigger cities and, and, and larger areas, you know, we're, people come and go. There's a lot of transient customers but not, not in areas like this, not in Washington Township. We all know each other, and you really have to provide a high level of customer service. So we know that, and, and we, we know the people in the community, and you might run into them at a restaurant, you might run into them you know, at a ball game or something, so you really wanna be able to talk to them and everything. And, and I think that most of our employees have that within them. They want to be able to go home and sleep at night and know that they, they took care of the customer to the, to the best level they could.